Like the way that they actually. You think that was the best one? I'm torn between Guardians, Spider Man, and Doc. No, it's as a whole. Marvel just did their job. I'll say one thing: as a whole, the introduction, the the, the introduction to Doctor Strange panel yeah, they showed the was the sequence. best thing uh, I think that I've seen at Comic Con so far. Yeah. Because what happened was, like, I'm not sure how to. Oh, real quick, the introduction to Spider-Man Homecoming was dope. When uh, Kevin Fe- uh, Feige, when he was talking, and then he was like, and then like the lights went out, and like you could hear like someone like web slinging. I was like, yeah, these niggas. Oh, but the Doctor Strange though, the way they actually had, they had the fog just falling down, and I was up there taking shots as press. All of a sudden, yeah. fog is falling down, yeah. and you're seeing like lights, and then there's, there's a focal point right in the middle of Hall H, right? And you can see like a silhouette is almost like it was a 3D projected image. And then all of a sudden like everything shuts down. And then uh, that's when they open it up to the actual sequence of like Benedict Cumberbatch coming on stage. Okay, remember when oh I was uh, when I was talking about the, the DC panel and how uh, these curtains right here, they're, they're usually closed. Okay, well during the Doctor Strange introduction, the curtains, the curtains open up just like this, right? And uh, like steam or fog, I guess fog started like billowing down everywhere and then there was like this laser light show and there was like symbols on the walls and shit yeah that it, intro was that, fucking that was so great but then the, the they capitalized with positioning and showing benedict cumberbatch his accent his american accent oh yeah what his purpose and drive was kind of like this journey that you know like bruce wayne had for batman begins it kind of felt like that as far as like the feeling but as soon as the <laughs> the ancient one puts him in his place so to speak and you get to see the visual immersion of the depth of this actual movie by far they are gonna crush it with Doctor Strange because I, I was thinking to myself like they have the great opportunity of making something great with this and they're gonna go for it yeah I'm a little bit worried <clears throat> just in the sense that like because they showed this full clip by the way and then um, the uh, <clears throat> the trailer and I I don't know like it was great, but I just felt like, man, I hope I didn't fucking see too much because they showed a lot, mm-hmm. particularly in the trailer. Like some of the images, I almost, I'm not even sure if I can describe them properly. It's very yeah. Inception-like. Like if you remember Inception, where uh, um, Ellen Page, where she like bends the street upwards. Yeah. Okay. Well, some of the images in Doctor Strange was kind of like that, but like on steroids. Like it was. Some of the stuff with Maz Mickelson when he was on the side of that building. Yeah, like with him as like this, I don't know if he's necessarily the main villain, mm. but I think he's working for the main villain. That, that's the only thing I can really say yeah. for sure. But his presence there is felt because it was like a moment where he squares off of Benedict Cumberbatch. But I'll say this, the ending with Benedict Cumberbatch, he's walking down and he puts the cloak around himself and like he looks out and he's looking at the whole scope of the the city around him just yeah. in destruction yeah. I was like he's got this but I think his training regiment too yeah. like when you actually see him start to go through the training oh, and everything yeah, that, that was, was so amazing because I liked how they handled the, the humor yeah you know that was done well um, I can't remember his name but this character here alright that guy who was also in uh, Danny Boyle's Sunshine if you uh, fucking love that movie but yeah. uh, the humor between them in like the library or whatever that yeah. was great to see as yeah. well so I mean for me I was a fan of the actual cartoon version that they actually did when Marvel used to make animated movies they did a great job initially mm-hmm. and I think it kind of went off that same realm with that and I'm all for it I think the Doctor Strange trailer was a 10 for me I oh, think because yeah. the presentation as a whole it gave me exactly what I needed to so yeah. if I like this is something is a step up it's yeah. not the same you know blueprint that a lot of people will speculate that's gonna it's gonna be yeah I still feel like maybe they showed just maybe too much footage I could be wrong but other than that like the trailer was a 10 out of 10 and yeah. I think it might have been the best trailer there but we got to talk about the very last thing after they What's got that? the whole entire oh. cast of all the different movies, and we yeah. we left out one thing, freaking Ryan Coogler, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chadwick Boseman, Lupe, and Michael freaking B. Yeah. Jordan so, as the villain showed up on stage. Yeah, Lupita Nyong'o came out, and um, I'm gonna forget her name, but the chick who plays Michelle. Like yes. Walking Dead is in uh, Black Panther. Yeah, she's been confirmed. Like that was one yeah. of the things that was kind of revealed. But anyway, they all got on stage, right? And then all of a sudden they were like, "Well, we want to introduce you to one more character that we hadn't talked about yet." And they was like, 
you know Captain Marvel, right? Yeah. Yeah, the Brie Lawson, come up here. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> they confirmed it. They officially confirmed it. I was like floored. I was like, everybody, they lost it. And everybody took pictures. Like the whole cast was there. It was. It was. That was the only time I remember uh, in Hall H where like everyone literally like like shot up like a fucking rocket. Like, yeah. I man. As a whole, I'll say the panel for me was a ten out of ten. DC as well. Like I'm not gonna say Warner Brothers as a whole. I'll just say DC. They every every single movie that they had lined up that I thought that they could put something. They added trailers. They added content. Marvel brought it, and I think that both of these. They brought it for Hall H for me. My no, yeah, I think I think they both brought it. I'm going to say that Marvel did better. But I think they oh, both brought it. Oh, here we I go. Think they both brought it. I'm sorry, bro. That, that Doctor Strange I mean, trailer was serious. I mean, DC only has three movies that they could have lined up anyway, know, and they but, gave us the Justice League. But The freaking trailer but, of the Justice League. I mean, anyway, <laughs> all bro, I can say bro. is that this is about Marvel. Marvel did their thing. All I got to say real quick. Oh, the, and they one, gave me a hat. They gave me a freaking hat. Oh yeah, I got one too. No, the anyway. one, the one shot in the Doctor Strange trailer where it almost looks like a ninja type person, like pretend I'm, I'm them, right? They did something like this, and when the side of the building started like bending and swirling into like a kaleidoscopic imagery. Oh yeah, because the last shot of Doctor Strange, he was actually warding off what was going on from Mad Mickelson. I was like, yeah. this felt like an Iron Man moment. Yeah, but it wasn't. Anyway. All I gotta like say, I enjoyed it. I had a great time. Yeah, Marvel killed it. The only way it could have been better is if they showed something from Infinity Wars, but that's just asking that's, too no, much. No, that's way too much. That's just too that's much. Way too much. They, um, they did their job. Because Thor Ragnarok seemed kind of like a push, because that's not out till next. Next? No, but then they gave us so much. Anyway, all I gotta say is I really enjoyed it. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed our <laughs> review. Hopefully, hopefully, when you sweaty nerds found a way to fucking periscope the imagery so I could see every individual riding the rock painting again because some of it was so weird yeah. that it's actually hard to remember. You know what I mean? Dude, I got swelmed with so much information from everything today. Mm-hmm. I had a great time today, though, for this Saturday panel. <laughs> we'll try to come back tomorrow and maybe look at Sherlock, maybe try to catch yeah. some other stuff in the exhibit hall. Assuming we haven't died editing all this footage. <laughs> we gotta edit this right now, so we gotta go. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this reaction. Yeah. A collaboration, Jarrell's Alexandria, JVS. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm about I, I, to go home. <laughs> yeah, let us know what you guys saw about um, the Marvel panel down below, and uh, what do you think? What was your favorite trailer? Would you like the most? And uh, that's it. We're gone, y'all. Rob. Peace. Peace. Later.